We're looking at differentiation as part of the, the higher maths revision for uh, your prelim or for your final exam. We're doing the last question that we're going to cover at this moment in time, and that's question 8. And what we're looking to do here is we're looking to sketch curves, okay? We're going to sketch curves by finding the stationary points and the nature of them. We're then going to work out where the, uh, the curve crosses over the coordinate axes, and then what we'll do is we'll sketch the curve based on the information we gather from the, the bits up above. Right, let, let's uh, start off by, by doing this, okay? So first thing that I'm going to be looking at doing is I'm going to be differentiating this equation here after I uh, prepare it. After preparing it, we're going to set it equal to zero for its gradient. We'll find the stationary points, make a nature table to find the, uh, the shape of the graph. We'll substitute the x values into y equals to find the y coordinates. We'll then find where the, the, uh, the curve meets the coordinate axes by making x equal to zero first of all and get the y coordinates and then making y equal to zero and find the x coordinates and then we'll sketch based on that. Let's go. Right, so for part A, we're, we're going to start with uh, the equation of the, the curve. So what I'm going to do first of all is prepare this. I'm going to multiply that bracket out first of all and uh, try to prepare it first of all before we do any differentiation. So I've not touched that x yet. And what I can do is I can multiply that out by FOIL, or I can use the quicker method by squaring the first term. So that'll give me 4. I'll multiply these two together. That'll give me minus 2x. I'll double it. So it'll be minus 4x. And I'll square the last term. So minus x squared will give me plus x squared. So that's uh, that first bracket um, prepared. What I'll then do is I'll multiply that out with this x that's here. So that gives me 4x minus 4x squared, and that'll be plus x cubed. So that's what y is equal to. So these are all the same as uh, the, the top equations that are here. I'm now in a position that I can uh, differentiate it from there, and I'll just go ahead and do that. So dy by dx is going to be equal to, so that's going to be 4, that's going to be minus 8x, and that's going to be plus 3x squared. Okay. Right, so what I could then do is I could just rewrite that. I'd, I'd rather see the, the 3x squared first of all, just it looks a wee bit neater for, from my point of view. So what I'll do is I'll do 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. If you're changing that around, just, just be careful that you get the, the signs correctly laid out. Right, so we know that um, we're going to, for the, for the stationary points, okay, for the SPs, I'm going to set dy by dx equal to zero. The gradient is equal to zero. Because remember, that's just a gradient equation that I've worked out there. So I've got zero here is equal to 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. What I'll then do is I'll factorise that. So you need to be pretty good at your factorising, especially when the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1. Right, so... I'm just going to say that that's going to be 3x and x, okay? And for the parts in the bracket, if I put a 2 there, I can get 6. A 2 there, I can get 2. So that can make 8. So I'll try that out and see how that works. Or you can just use whatever method that uh, you've been shown by uh, your own teacher. Shown by your own teacher. Right, so let's see. So these here, when they multiply out, they get plus 4. So they're either both positive or both negative. If that's a negative, they must both be negatives. Let's just check it works. 3x squared, yep. Minus 6x, minus 2x gives me minus 8x. Minus 2 times minus 2 gives me plus 4. Got it right, okay? So what I'll do here is I'll get my x coordinate first. 3x minus 2 equals 0. So I can just go straight and say that x is equal to. Take the 2 over to that side, divide it by the 3. 2 thirds. If you need a couple of steps to do that, just go ahead and do that. Here I've got x minus 2 equals 0. So just take the 2 over to the right hand side and it becomes a positive 2. So there's my two coordinates that I'm going to use. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the y coordinates. So what I've got is when, when x equals 2 thirds, what I'll do is I'm going to sub, uh, substitute this into, let's put it into, what's the best equation for us? Let's just put it straight into the one at the top there, okay? Right, so I'm going to try and find out what my y coordinate is, and that's going to be two thirds appearing there. So that's there, and then I've got two 
minus two thirds, and that's to be squared. Okay. So what I've got from there is, let's see. So that's going to give me. I'm going to leave that two thirds first, and I'm going to have to square this part out first of all. So that's going to give me. So that's going to be four of well, six over three. Six over three minus uh, two over three is going to give me four over three. So that's going to be 4 over 3 squared. So I'll say that, 4 over 3 squared. So I'm going to square the top first of all, so that's going to be 16. 16 times 2 gives me 32 on the top. And I'm going to square the bottom of that one there, that's going to give me 9. 9 times 3 gives me 27. So quite an odd number, so 32 over 27 for that one there. Okay, so that's one of the points that I'm going to get. I'm going to work out when x is equal to 2. So I'll just substitute that in, and this should be a wee bit easier. So I've got 2, and that's going to be minus 2 squared. So that there is going to give me a value of 0, because 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 squared is 0, 0 times 2 is 0. Okay. So my coordinate there is going to be 2 over 3 and 32 over 27, quite a weird one. And I've got 2, 0. 2, 0 coming out of this one here. So there's the, the coordinates that I'm going to be using. I'm then going to create a, a nature table, okay, to work out the um, the nature of them. Right, so I'll just make a nature table up here. This is still part A that I'm working on. So my nature table, my x values on the top, and the values that I'm going to use are going to be the two thirds and the two. So I'm going to go along a bit, that's going to be two-thirds there, because I want to know what the graph is like as it approaches two-thirds. Between two-thirds and two, I want to know what it does there, and beyond two, I want to find that out. And I want to know um, dy by dx, so this is what I'm going to be working out for here. The values that I'm going to use will be, before I've got uh, two over three, I'm just going to go straight to minus one, that's going to be an easier number to work with. I'll go for one in between these two, and beyond two, Let's just go for 3. Right, so the, the equations that I can use for, um, for dy by dx, I'm going to use, what will I go for? Let me just go for this one here. So what I'm going to use is 3x minus 2, and that's going to be multiplied by x minus 2. And I'm just going to work out whether it's positive or negative, my values there. Right, so I already know that that's 0, because I said it was 0 there to get the values. So these ones are 0. And what I'll do is I'll substitute my numbers in. Let me start with 1 first of all. I'll do the positive numbers first. So if I substitute a 1 in there, that'll give me 3. 3 minus 2 gives me a positive value. And if I substitute a 1 in there, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So I'll give me a negative value. So that's going to give me a negative in between there. If I substitute a 3 in there, that's going to give me 9 minus 2. So that's going to be positive. And I'm going to multiply that by 3 minus 2. It's just going to be 1. So that's a positive. So that's going to be a positive value in there. Right, so if I substitute minus 1 into here, that'll give me minus 3 minus 2. will give me minus uh, first of all, in that first bracket, and minus 1 going in there, minus 1 times minus 2 gives me minus 3, so that's going to give me another minus. So 2 minuses multiplied together will give me a, a positive. So that gives me the shape of the graph, so this is where the nature will come out. So it's positive, going up the way there, it's flat, it's negative, when it gets to there it goes flat, and then it goes positive. So this here is a maximum. And that's at, and that's going to be the point 2, 3, and 32 over 27. And over here we've got um, a minimum value, because it's a minimum turning point. And that's at the point 0, 0, or 2, 0, sorry, 2, 0. So I'm taking the x coordinate and the y coordinate there. So that's 2, 0. So there's my, uh, the, the nature of each of them. Right, for part B, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and work out um, where the curve meets the coordinate axes. Right, so when x equals 0, let's work that one out first. When x equals 0, I need to find out what my y coordinate is going to be. So what I'll do is I'll substitute it into the initial equation. So I'm going to put a 0 there, 2 minus 0 squared, 
and that's going to work out to be zero. So there's my, my first coordinate, and um, that's going to be zero, zero. And I'll work out when y is equal to zero. What I'll then do is I'll substitute into this equation here again. I'll just put a y value in there as zero. Okay. So we've got zero is equal to x, and that's going to be two minus x squared. Okay. From there, what I can see is I'm going to get a value coming from there. So I've got x equals zero. From here, I've got a value of, and that's going to be 2 minus x, it's going to be equal to 0, so x is going to be equal to 2. So there's the other coordinates I've got. So this one here was 0 for x and 0 for y, and this one here is 2 and 0. So there's the points where it cuts the axis. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sketch the curve. Okay, and remember that I've got a squared here, so that's going to be just touching the axis at this point here. Right, so just grab a ruler. For part C, we're going to sketch it. So let me just go up to something like this here. Let's do that. And from here, let's work along the way. I'll call that one. There's two. Mm, there's about three there somewhere. Okay, three. Just go to this side a bit as well. Okay, so there's zero. There's my y coordinates there, and there's my x. I'll call that one, two, and three. Um, let's see. So the only y coordinate that I really have on the uh, on the working out that I have here is going to be that thirty-two over twenty-seven. And that's going to be 1 and 5 27, so about 1 and maybe a quarter, somewhere about that. Um, so let's say that that's going to be up about, let me just draw that to here somewhere. So I'll just use this line that's here. Just draw that across very, very lightly. Right, and that coordinate there was two-thirds along the way, about there, up there. So there's my first point that I'm going to use, that one there. Okay. I've got the point zero, 0, that's also crossing the axis at, and I'm going to use this point here, 2, 0 from there. I know the shape of the graph is going to be a maximum turning point at this one here, and it's going to be a minimum turning point, so it's going to come up here, turn, there, and then away off it goes there as well. Right, so let's try and draw that. Okay, so I'm going to go from here, going to go up to there, going to turn here, and when it turns, it's going to come back down. And if I could see that properly from here, I'll go to there. I'm going to turn there, and it's going to head up the way quite steeply there. Okay, so there's the shape of the graph. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my coordinates are quite clear. So there's two zero. That's zero zero there, and this coordinate here is two thirds, and it's thirty two over twenty seven. That's that point there. So that would be my uh, my curve completed. Right. So so what we've done there is we've um, we've worked out the stationary points using differentiation, substituting the gradient of zero, working out my x coordinates, find the y coordinates that match up, writing my uh, coordinates of these points. Nature table. Find out the shape of the graph. Tells you what the nature of it is. Lets you know how to draw this curve. Find where it cuts the x and the y axis and label up these points as well. So make sure you label the points that, that you know and any others that you want. So you could have substituted 3 into here, into the y is equal to equation, and that would give you another value here if you so wanted that. Right, so, so that's um, the differentiation part one, more or less concluded. There's a couple of questions on optimization. I'm not going to cover them at this moment in time, but good luck with your revision.